Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What we got here is the uh, half horsepower General Electric motor that I put the Synpack switch on in the last video to replace the centrifugal starting switch. Once we got rid of that, we're letting this little device here, the Synpack switch, do the work. Um, there's other manufacturers of switches that are very similar to this. Uh, this is one that I've had extensive uh, uh, work with. Um, they're, they're used all the time in uh, meat slicers and stuff, so I've seen my share of them. Uh, anyways, uh, to get to particulars here, um, this half horsepower motor used to go only counterclockwise by the wiring, and um, so I dug in there, uh, found out where my uh, start windings are, and if you swap the start windings and uh, do some other magic, not really magic, but if you do some wiring tricks, um, you can get this uh, motor to turn both directions. Um, you can do it with a toggle switch. Uh, the problem is, is you're going to need another switch in order to cut off power unless you get enough poles on that toggle switch and I'd hate to see what that thing looked like. Um, the next best thing is a drum switch. Uh, this drum switch uh, was made for um, motors that will turn either direction. Um, this one was purchased off of eBay uh, very inexpensively, um, um, $15 range, I gotta say, and it's supposed to be good for uh, 60 amps, uh, so I figured uh, 30 amps would be more sufficient, and most of the time, um, coming through 115 volts, you're only going to get 20 amps on a wall breaker before it pops anyway, so none of that matters. It's all overkill in the name of science. Um, basically, what's going on here is uh, in the center position, uh, there's no continuity between these poles there. Um, there are some bus bars in here that keeps certain um, uh, poles, they're, they're, they're linked together, uh, it's for easy switching purposes. Um, I will post all of this on the Hobby Machinist so you guys can uh, take a look at the actual uh, wiring diagram and how the Synpack switch is wired in and all that. But uh, uh, easily put, uh, I have the power input here, uh, power, um, skip a terminal and then there's the neutral. Neutral is right here and the neutral is shared with the motor here. Um, ground is also shared with the, the motor so we have a common ground uh, between uh, the, here and the motor. Um, so uh, when we kick this over this direction the motor will turn one direction you flop it over this other way, the motor will switch directions. Um, I would recommend that we let the motor stop before attempting to go the opposite direction. Um, it probably can instantly start, but I don't see why you should unduly stress the, the already stressed windings in these motors, you know, the excitement and then shutting it off and then excitement it the other way. It's probably not a good way of doing it. Okay, anyways, um, so we're hooked up, um, and let's go ahead and, uh, so we're turning right now for viewing the shaft it is going in the counterclockwise direction. But through the magic of a drum switch, We are now turning the opposite direction. Which you can see we're going clockwise. And with a belt or something else on it, it would slow down a lot quicker. Um, I did leave the shaft pretty much untouched. It still has the fly weights on the end of it. I, felt that might be kind of critical for motor balance and stuff, so I did not take uh, any weight off of the rotor itself. Um, I just merely removed the starting switch from that. But uh, as you can see, uh, this motor would be suitable for uh, 
use in a lathe or something to that effect. Um, yeah, like I said before, if you guys want to see this, it'll all be on uh, Hobby Machinist. Uh, thanks for watching.